Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda and I just want to show you guys how I've been keeping this unit cool. This little board is pretty cool. It runs Windows 10. This is the 2 gigabyte version. They also make a 4 gigabyte version. It has an Intel Atom X5 Z8300 CPU clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. They do claim that the CPU boosts up to 1.8, but I've only seen it go there once. It's usually around 1.6 gigahertz. Not too bad. But this thing gets hot. On the back side here, we have a heat shield over the CPU. The CPU is on the back side of the board. This is not a heat sink. This is a heat shield. So within five minutes of gaming or up to eight to ten minutes of watching Netflix or YouTube at 1080p, the CPU underclocks to about 600 megahertz, and it really kills performance. So what I did was I found some stuff that was laying around the house, and I built a little mountain fan for it. And here's the little unit I built. This is a little Wii U stand. What I did was I added some old motherboard standouts here. And I mounted a 50 or 40 millimeter fan that I had laying around. It's a 5 volt fan. Works perfectly to cool this thing. I can run it for hours and hours and hours without it ever overheating. So basically, I have the board upside down here. Tuck this around. Mount it here. I will plug in my 5 volt input here. Can't see it from the angle I'm at. And two screws will go in the bottom. And it sits just like that. So the fan on the back blows directly onto the CPU. So I don't need a heat sink or anything. This fan keeps it at a perfect operating temperature. If you go any colder, it's not going to speed up performance at all. It's working at its maximum efficiency. So, I mean, going down below, there's no overclocking this board or anything like that as of right now, and I don't think there ever will be. But, just a quick fan pointing on the back of the Latte Panda towards the CPU will be perfect for you. I just wanted to show you guys this. I've been using this um, since a few days after I got the Latte Panda because I noticed that it was underclocking to 600 megahertz and it was killing performance off dramatically. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe. I got a lot more coming with the Latte Panda and tons of other single board computers. Like always, thanks for watching.